Hey, this is Michael from Studio One Expert. In this video, I'll show you the Klanghelm MJUC compressor. First, let's go over the controls and how the plugin is laid out. You can click on the logo to enter the global settings menu and credits. This displays the version of the plugin you are running, a link to their website, options for enabling tooltips, which shows an explanation when hovering over a control, knob mode, which sets the mouse drag behavior, show and edit values. This displays a text box below each knob where you can control, review, and edit the control value. The gain reduction meter speed, fast or slow, and the mouse drag sensitivity. You can choose between three models, which the owner's manual describes as Mark 1, inspired by early variable mu designs with very gentle compression characteristics and lots of vibe. Mark 2, a more obvious forward sounding compression based on American designs from the 60s. Mark 3, a modern interpretation of the variable mu topic, very flexible and punchy. It has an AB to switch between two plug-in states, a preset menu with the previous and next preset arrow controls. You can choose between five GUI sizes, automatic gain compensation. The calculated makeup level is based on the RMS difference between input level and compressed signal. It gets recalculated and applied each time when a gain reduction affecting control is changed. This calculated makeup level is saved with the session. When AGC is on, you can still fine tune the output level with the makeup control. You can enable, disable high quality processing, also known as oversampling. You can set the reference level not only for the VU meter, but also for the entire signal path. So let's start with the Mark 1, which the manual describes as inspired by early variable mu designs with very gentle compression characteristics and lots of vibe. You can click the arrow at the bottom of the plugin to show and hide the bottom panel. First, we have the compress control, which controls the compression amount, then the timber, which sets the overall tone by modifying the frequency response of the gain stages. At negative five, it's prominent mids with attenuated highs. Set at zero will be mostly neutral and at plus five setting will be a smiley curve effect. Drive, which determines the saturation amount for the input and output stages. When set to clean, only the compression stage is active, saving CPU. Timing controls the timing constants of the compressor. One is fast attack, fast release. Two, slow attack, medium release. Three, slow attack, longish release, four, slow attack, long release, five, slow attack, fast program dependent release, and six, fast attack, long program dependent release. Mode, which toggles between compression and limiting. Side chain high pass filter cutoff frequency control. Mix, which allows you to mix unprocessed and processed signal. Power, which bypasses the plugin. Makeup, which is a makeup output gain control. Also a control for what you would like the VU to display. And a channel mode to display mono, stereo, or dual mono. Next is the Mark II, which the manual describes as a more obvious, forward sounding compression based on American designs from the 60s. Some different controls on this GUI. The differences are density, which enables a second variable mu tube stage, which leads to denser compression characteristics. Ratio, which sets the compression ratio. I stage, which enables the interstage transformer, which separates the gain reduction stage from the final gain stage. It alters the tone and character of the compression, helps to reduce overall noise of the unit, also leads to cleaner and clearer compression characteristics. Attack, which controls the attack from around 0.8 milliseconds up to 35 milliseconds. Recovery, controls the recovery or the release from around 20 milliseconds up to 3.6 seconds. 
and the third model is the Mark III, which the manual describes as a modern interpretation of the variable mu topic. Very flexible and punchy. The unique controls for this module are the high ratio, which sets the compression ratio, and punch. You can move the slider to the right for a punchier compression behavior, and also great for bass heavy signals to avoid distortion when using fast attack and recovery times. In part two of this video, we will hear some audio examples of the MJUC.